So today's video is a blind buy fragrance haul. Three of these items I've already tried. Two of them I have not and I've been waiting to be able to sit down and record. So I want to get into it because I've been really, really trying to walk past these fragrances and not touch them. So let's get into okay, it. Okay, so one of these, y'all probably like, why would she buy that old ass perfume? <laughs> Cause I was curious, okay? I was curious. So, and I'm looking for like my summer fragrance, but then I reread the ingredients last night before, cause I was tempted to open this yesterday, but I wanted to open it on camera. This has chocolate in it. And I just don't know if that's gonna be too heavy for the summer. Uh, I hope not. If so, I just gotta wait. Every time I'm recording, them damn dogs come out of nowhere barking and acting a fool. First ingredient is alcohol. I'm about to say, this is in French. I, who can read that? So, CK1 shock for her. I don't remember how none of the Calvin Klein fragrances smell but I don't know I keep looking at them like I should try one I should try one you know so I purchased this one okay it's in the floral family which I am just now seeing it I don't know I'm not the biggest biggest floral person okay main notes poppy flower and pink peony or peony tomato tomato middle notes scents of jasmine blackberry narcisse and dark chocolate, base notes, patchouli, musk, amber, and vanilla. <sighs> and what's with this? What the? F you gotta come. Ooh, this look like liquor. <laughs> okay. Am I missing something? Cause I don't get it. Okay, cause I'm sure like supposed to use this as aftershave or something. Oh, I wish them dogs would go in the house. Okay, CK1. Here they come again. Got it all over my finger. Oh, this fresh. This could be summer. It could be spring, summer. It's very basic. cool. I feel like my first whiff is alcohol. I feel like the first whiff is alcohol and then after that I do smell like the amber and vanilla. This is okay. This that's cool for an everyday scent. It's fresh. It's uplifting. I like it. It's definitely floral. Uh, I don't know how I didn't notice that. It's definitely floral. That's cool. But yeah, I can see that as an everyday scent. I'm gonna test it out. If I don't like it, I have the option to return it. Next up, we have Happy Shopard. It's so bright. Happy Shopard Lemon Dulce. Okay, nervous about this one. Happy Shopper Lemon 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 Dulce. It's so shiny, you can't even see it for real. Flowers, citrus, fruits, leaves, spices. Nature is amazingly rich in feel good scents. This writing is so. May this luxury creation bring you a wealth of positive emotions. So I heard this is mouthwatering, very sweet. And I wanted an uplifting, bright fragrance. Oh my God, this bottle is so cute. Look at that. Oh, look at that bottle. How freaking cute is that? That looks so bougie. I love it. Oh, I hope I like this. I just want to keep the bottle. <laughs> Tomato, 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 tomato,
top notes, lemon, mandarin, orange, bergamot, shiso, and ginger. Middle notes, mango, apple, orange blossom, and cucumber. Base notes, mint and woody notes. Origin is Italy. Oh, that's pretty. It's like a, a fresh squeezed lemon, a fresh squeezed orange. Ooh, and when it dries down, I like that. Oh yeah, it, it's sweet, but it's still fresh. Like it's, I was about to say thought provoking. I'm doing too much. It's uplifting, it's bright like lemon overload. If you don't like lemon, you probably won't like this. I guess you could say it's gourmand, but cause a couple creators did say it's mouth watering, it's gourmand because of the lemon and the mandarin, but I wouldn't say mouth watering, but it is definitely sweet. It is definitely to me a happy, fresh summer, spring, or all year long, just a happy scent. When I think of lemons, cause that's one of my favorite fruits, I think of happy. When you look at a lemon, it just should make you happy cause it's so pretty, it's so vibrant. Vibrant, that's what I wanna say. Yes, I like that. If I had to pick between CK1 and Happy Shepherd Lemon Dulce, I'm picking the lemon. <sighs> okay. I think I found my summer set. Mm -hmm. Calvin, you might go back, honey. I don't know yet. I'm gonna think about you. I like you a lot. Or maybe I should just keep both. And that kind of like, I think that sharp note, that might be ginger. So let's go over what I've already smelled. So the first item, the first item that we can talk about, went to Walmart, they stopped by the fragrances and they had Rebel by Rihanna. They had Rebel by Rihanna and this was $7. It, it, it was meant to be, cause I had this in my cart. Cause I've been curious about this scent, had it in my cart and was about to check out, had to run to Walmart, it was there. So I just figured, you know, that was, in the stars, the line, you know, it was meant for me. So I grabbed it, it was $7. The other one that was there, it was this one and another one, but the cap was broken. Like, so I'm not taking the defective one. So I got this one and honestly, I, I'm still on the fence about this, but I can't take it back now. So it, it's okay. I've had the other Rihanna, like Rihanna New, and I never repurchased it. I liked it, but this one, it's, it's kind of spicy. Patchouli, Amber, Musk, Heliotrope, and Vanilla Orchid. And this came out in 2012. It's okay. It's okay. I, I, I don't have no, uh, I don't have no little fragrance thing things. What is it? Test the strips. But I will say the sprays on here are beautiful. Like they are even, strong. You get a, a lot for one little spray. So I do like that. That what is it, the atomizer or whatever. It's sweet but heavy. It, it's sweet and heavy. So maybe like maybe this for like a, a cooler night. Like it's down in the twenties now. Maybe the fall, winter. I can see this as a fall scent for me. And it almost reminds me of one of the diesel, like diesel jeans. They have their own uh, fragrances and you know, up next Ariana Grande's Cloud. Now people have been talking about Baccarat. It smells like Baccarat. It's a cheaper version of Baccarat. Now I was on the phone with my friend and he was saying it smelled like Baccarat as well. So sprayers on this, on these. I love the sprayers on these. 
I like this a lot. I've been wearing this. I wore this probably twice since I got it. This I've been wearing. I like that. Y'all see how I switched it up? Cause that cardboard was kind of looking tacky. <laughs> that cardboard was looking a little rough, but I don't know. I like this. I've been wearing it. The sprayer is amazing. I wish I had got two of those. So bergamot pear, bergamot pear, lavender, praline, and coconut. And they say it smells like baccarat. So as far as fragrances, I'm kind of working backwards from what a lot of people already have. So they might have started off with baccarat and then came across Mancera's Instant Crush. And then came across Ariana Grande's Cloud, and they're saying, oh, all of this smells the same. Okay, I still have not smelled Baccarat Rouge. I really have not. So I have Instant Crush. If you haven't seen that previous video, I'll leave it up here. And now I have this. If this smells like what Baccarat smells, I really don't feel the need to purchase that. You know what I'm saying? Like maybe, maybe, possibly. Everybody and their mama got it. Like, I mean, fragrances smell different on everybody, but literally everybody. But I don't know, like, if I can find a cheap dupe and it smells just as good, the longevity might not be that bad or that great. I, I'm not uh, I'm keeping my couple hundred and buying a couple bottles of something else. It's just, I don't know. I just, maybe because I'm cheap. I am cheap, okay? I, I'm cheap. I'm cheap. I'm frugal. That's what it is. If I got a dupe and it smells just as good, I think I'm okay. Or I might buy that small bottle for my birthday. I might, I might buy the small bottle. My birthday's May 21st, if anybody's, you know, curious. Okay, thanks. Next up, I got this from Whole Foods. And this is the Alba Botanica Hawaiian Body Oil. Cuckoo Nut. All the top weekend. Deep moisturizing cuckoo nut to nourish and smooth. Hypoallergenic no parabens, phthalates, or animal testing 100% vegetarian ingredients made from 100% recycled materials. That's talking about the bottle. So I tried this today. I smelled this. I didn't want to smell it in the store because you know everybody's freaking out because of COVID. I get it. Um, plus, this didn't have a, a cap on it when I got home. I like for my oils, my food, some foods, you know, to have a cap on it, a seal to make me feel more comfortable. But, you know, I'm a rebel, so I tried it anyway, you know, risking my health and my skin, you know. But this smells good, but the scent is very, very, very light. Almost non-existent. Like, you would pair this with something that has coconut in it. Uh, vanilla, like the um, Sol de Janeiro products, this would go great with that. I'm thinking about getting the Body Mist. I forget the name of it. I definitely want to get the Body Mist. I feel like these would pair well together, but by, by itself, it's kind of like, it's not doing it. It's not a fragrance. It's not a perfume oil, but... I just, I don't know, I guess I expected more. Blends of cuckoo nut, sweet almond, which I already knew before even reading the ingredients. I said, this has sweet almond oil. Sweet almond oil, coconut, flaxseed, and sunflower oils. And this is the 8.5 ounce bottle for about $9, depending on where you're at. So yeah, I like this. I'm gonna continue to use this. I'm gonna use this again. If I don't like it, I can take it back. So, it was okay. It's, it's okay so far. It, it's it's okay. Oh. If you like content like this, please subscribe. Thank you. Um, thank you for watching this video. If you made it all the way through, I know it's too long. I talk too much. I talk too much. Anyway, thank you for watching. I truly appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next one.